welcome everyone to this uh, tutorial. So the, 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 the second part of what we done with the GWT in the past one. What we're gonna do finally is we're gonna continue the, the thing about right now. What we can do is we can log a user and get a GWT, but what we can do with the GWT. So this episode is gonna be uh, maybe good for the one we never really work with GWT. Just to understand the principle about where to use it and why use it and also how use it. So uh, what are we gonna do for testing this thing and make sure then uh, you can follow like uh, uh, what that gonna change for any new app? It's we're gonna create another route here called slash hello world. So that's gonna be a get method. Who finally gonna have a rec and res and gonna res that send just a simple message say if you see this that me you log so i'm gonna save and i'm gonna go to passport and i'm gonna send and i'm gonna just check if my message work always remember like allows edd api v1 hello world it just now you don't they don't have the front of out in front of it so now we have created a route now what we need uh, to do now it's we're gonna need to have uh, like a way to add the GWT um, authorization and make sure then uh, we're gonna make sure that like this route cannot work if the user is not logged. So by doing this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, go to passport.js and we're gonna finally upgrade the services we build here. Right now we use only Passport Local, which is really good for building an email and password notification. But now what we need is to install Passport GWT. So npm install Passport GWT, or your own app, you're gonna see the library is really small, so it's gonna go really fast. First thing we're gonna to need to do is import some, uh, uh, import some method from this library. The first one is gonna be the strategy. And for make sure then that gonna follow the local strategy, we're gonna see GWT strategy. strategy. And also we're gonna need the extract GWT. After that, we're gonna do almost like we did with the local ops. We're gonna say GWT up, OPTS for option. And we're gonna say here finally, uh, we're gonna say, oops, sorry. We're gonna say GWT from request. And here what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna just say extract the GWT from the header with scheme, and then we're gonna say GWT. So wait a minute, what mean this line? That means it's the GWT gonna be inside the headers. It's gonna be inside the headers on every request you're gonna do. So when a user post, delete, whatever you do, if you want to keep track of the user, you're gonna need to have that inside the headers. And finally, what you can do, it's that's gonna be inside the middleware. You're gonna just take this uh, GWT and make sure that this is a real one. So here, what that means, it's the from out with header with scheme, it's that means your GWT gonna need to have the GWT in front of it, so your your um, your GWT is going to be GWT space and your token right there. After that, this thing going to need another uh, props on it, and it's going to be the the secret. And for doing this, we're going to make sure we're going to use the same secret as we use for the uh, when we sign the GWT finally when we create it. So we're going to use it from the constant uh, object right there. So GWT secret. So the thing we built in the past video right there. And now we're gonna create finally the strategy. We're gonna say GWT login. So just follow your own convention here. And GWT, new GWT strategy. Here, it's gonna be almost like the same as the here. It's gonna be GWT option. And after that, we're gonna have an async callback where we're gonna have the payload and the done. The done mean we finish the middleware because remember, that's gonna be a middleware. After that, we're gonna have a try catch. Well, here finally we're gonna if we have an error we're gonna return the error and also we're gonna return false so that means the user is unauthorized. After that we're gonna say const user equal await out model that find by id and here I'm gonna say payload that underscore id. So now you maybe say hey wait a minute what is this thing here? So first thing out model find by id so that means that's gonna be the id but where is this payload that id become? It's gonna become from the model here because when we create the token, token remember, we have created a payload like that. So this is the payload, this is an object, and we're gonna have dot underscore ID. So that's gonna be the ID of the user. So by having this ID right there in the payload, we can find the user right there. And now what we can do is the same strategy almost of the one we did in the top. If if no user return done with no error, but the user is unauthorized. So that means the user don't exist. 
else we turn done and we turn no error but here we turn the user by adding the user here you're going to put that in the context of the user inside the rec that user you just get here after that we're going to say passport that use gwt login and after that we, we're going to do it export cons gwt uh, gwt um, uh, no out gwt i just want to keep it the same as the other one passport that authenticate we're gonna say gwt and also we're gonna have session false so you see it's almost the same so this is the beauty of passport it's when you make it work one time it's almost always the same so so now we have that so now what we're gonna do is because we abstract the service we have built it's now inside the out services we're gonna say out gwt from here and now we're gonna just do shift command d here or shift control d i think in windows and we're gonna say out middle uh, GWT middleware and we're going to change this thing to be all GWT so what that means it's now we have uh, extra the services where we, now we have the GWT middleware so if you want to change the strategy for uh, the GWT middleware what we're going to do is you're going to finally just build another uh, function we, you put there but this thing here going to always stay the same so now just to make sure that's going to work we're going to jump here we're gonna import the out services from the out services right there. And now what we're gonna do is right there as a middleware, out services that GWT middleware. And now by doing this, what's gonna happen? It's if I send back here without any others, I'm gonna get unitarize. Hey, for one unitarize, you cannot go there. You have no GWT, you have no others at all. So how we can now test it and make sure that it works? First thing send again, send again, you see. Nothing can work. Now what you can do is relog again. Take the GWT get you. Command C. Go to localhost and postman again. Write authorization right there. And now pass the value right there. And now if I send, again, not working. Because remember, right inside passport.js, I just told you you need to have GWT in front of it. So now you don't read that. So now what you can do, you just go there, say GWT space and now if you send if you see this that means you log so if you see this that means you follow well this tutorial and now everything gonna start to make more sense for you so now as you can see now what's gonna happen in the front end if you're the front end dev it's always always and always get your token inside your headers so save the token inside the headers. If you use that in the web, use the local storage, save the token, take the token, make it inside your fetch request or using Axos or whatever, and put that inside the headers. This way you can keep track of which user is that. Think about that as like you go to a, a show and you have like your ticket on it. If you have your ticket, the, 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 the doorman gonna always let you enter. But if you f forget your ticket, you're gonna say, hey, I don't care if I see you that before, but you need to have your ticket or you don't pass. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And we're going to talk later where now we're going to start to send email about confirmation email. So I hope you enjoy and we're going to talk later. And uh, again, please share it if you think that can help some of your friends. And also uh, make sure you can subscribe and hit the bell uh, for getting notification. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.